God bless you all. Welcome in the name of Jesus. Today is the fire. Let me see those that was in that, that was in the one, two, three, four, five. You were in those days. Let me see those. I was in the one. I was in the two. I was in the three. I've been around. Let me see those who were there. Can I have a witness? You are welcome in the name of Jesus. You are welcome. God bless you all. Good morning to you. Good afternoon. Good evening. From my end to all of you, wherever you are joining us from, God bless you very good in the name of Jesus. God bless you. You are welcome. Please share this broadcast if you are just joining. No matter where you are joining from, you are not here by accident. It is a 14 days of operation. Lift up your request. Get your request ready. Get your request ready, and then um, today is day five. Our topic says we met again. We met again. That's our topic today. We met again. Uh, that's our topic today. Strange topic. Because God has something for you. That is our topic today. We met again. That's our topic. Right? It might. Some people may say, well, what do we mean by that? You Very soon you will get to understand better. Why... The topic was chosen. You will have a better understanding why that is the topic for today. Mm. We met again. Chineke 
Please share this broadcast wherever you find yourself. Share it right now. We're about to get started. Please get your request ready. Get your request ready. Um... Father, we thank you. We bless you for another day. Today is the fifth day of this um, prayers that we'll be waiting upon you, lifting up our requests before you. You started answering our requests. A lot of testimonies coming from healing, open doors, breakthrough, uh, mighty deliverance has been taking place in the lives of your people. The people with which you redeemed with your blood. They are precious in thy sight. Thank you for your mercy, O God. Today, show us your mercy. Let as many that are listening to the sound of my voice, let them be partaker of this blessing. He sent forth your word, he healed them, he gave to them that which they need. There is a miracle in your word. There is solution in your word, wrapped in your word, as it is unveiled this morning this afternoon or this evening depending on their location father manifest your power prove yourself in their lives manifest your power prove yourself in their lives in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we met again is our topic today We met again is our topic. Genesis. In the book of Genesis, Genesis 39. Get your Bible ready. Get your Bible ready. Genesis 39. Genesis 39, verse um, 21. I read verse 21. But the Lord was with Joseph and blessed him so that the jailer was pleased with him god blessed joseph this is the good news version the king james version said the favor of god was upon him 
The favor of God took him out of the prison. I pray for you today, beginning from today, by the mercies of God, the favor of God will become your anchor. The favor of God will be evident in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything we're talking about this morning is about the character Joseph. Is about the man called Joseph. Is the person we are going to be talking about this morning. Everything centered on him. Yesterday we were blessed by the exhortation that came prophetically. Please share this broadcast right now if you are here. Share this broadcast, share this broadcast. Don't don't wait. Begin to share this broadcast right now. Share this broadcast, share this broadcast right now wherever you find yourself. Begin to share this broadcast right now. Make sure that you are sharing to cause others to be blessed. Genesis chapter 42. I'm going to read from verse 1 to 10 quickly because of time. And I would like you to listen attentively to what God is saying there in the book of Genesis chapter Genesis chapter 40 42 from verse 1 I'm reading the good news so that you have a better understanding. And when Jacob learned that there was grain, corn in Egypt, he said to his sons, Why don't you do something? I hear that there is grain, maize, corn in Egypt. Go there and buy some to keep us from starving to death. So Joseph's ten half brothers went to buy grain in Egypt, but Jacob did not send Joseph's full brother Benjamin with them. Because he was afraid that something might happen to, to him, just the way it happened to Joseph. If not God that was on the side of Joseph, what they meant for his destruction became for his deliverance. Can I pray for you today? That conspiracy against you shall lead to your fame in the name of Jesus. What is meant to disgrace you shall be what will bring expression out of your destiny in the mighty name of jesus what is meant to demote you shall lead to the manifestation of your destiny what is meant to speak against you shall speak for you by the power in the blood of jesus verse 5 genesis 42 verse 5 the sons of jacob came with others to buy grain because there was famine in the land of canaan joseph as governor of the land of Egypt, was selling grain to people from all over the world. On the land of the world, they all over the world. It means he became, he became famous. Over nine testimonies. He became famous. He was the one selling to them all over the world. So Joseph's brother came and bowed down before him with their faces to the ground. Mm. This will be the portion of somebody. Those who look down on you, they will look up to you. Those who do not value you, a day is coming. They will all bow before you. In the mighty name of Jesus. They've been calling you all kinds of names. They call you failure. They call you nobody. They don't respect you because of your present condition, present state, your present location, where you are. It looks as if nothing is moving. You look like the Dead Sea. You are just like the lake, flowing nowhere, only harboring. They are seeing you as nothing. You don't add value. May I tell you, your day is coming. Behold, in knocket. God is going to turn your story around. In the name of Jesus. Verses. Joseph 
as governor of the land, selling grain, or maize as it were, to people from all over the world. So Joseph's brothers came and bowed down before him with their faces to the ground. When Joseph saw his brothers, he recognized them, but he acted as if he did not know them again and asked them harshly, where do you come from? We have come from Canaan to buy corn. They all answered. Although Joseph recognized his brothers, they did not recognize him again. That is where our topic came from. We met again, but not the same condition. <laughs> they left him. Mary and Mary Magdalene, they left the grave, the, the tomb side that morning, thinking the next morning he was going to be there. But the Bible told us when they came back the next morning, he that was in the grave was no longer there. Eh? He was no longer there again. He's gone out of the place. Jesus, the son of the living God. He was no longer there. So they saw him. They could not recognize him. Who would have thought that the capital son will become the talk of the town? Who would have thought, according to Sarah, Genesis 21, from verse 1 to 8, who would have thought that Sarah will give birth to a child unto Abraham in old age. The body is weak. The man is now Papa Paws. Why? The woman is now Mama Paws. They've got nothing to offer. Scientifically, it is proven that it's going to be impossible. But not with our God that created the heavens and the earth with no pillar holding it. But by his spoken words, everything came to be. As I read this scripture, as and I begin to speak revelational, prophetic dimension into your destiny, God will do the impossible. What is difficult shall become easy. Where there is no way, God will make a way. You know what? When the word of God is being sent forth, power is being released. Said there is no word that leaves my mouth that return to me void. As I'm speaking now, closed doors are opening, new channels bursting asunder. Every obstacle, barricade that they placed on your way, they all give you way. As I speak now, those who walked away, they are walking back because they are going to be compelled by God to reappear and do the needful. The Bible said, when Joseph saw his brethren as people were killed up, you will be coordinated. They were all coordinated. They were not behaving as if they were, uh, you know, from where they were coming from. They, they maintained decorum, very quiet. Hunger has taught them lessons. And Joseph saw them and said, We met again. Glory be to the Lord. They didn't meet me in the same condition they left me. I pray for you today. Those who thought that you will become nobody. In the land of the living, God keep them alive and He will keep you. With their mouth, they will say, The stone the builder rejected indeed has become the chief cornerstone. Psalm 126 from verse 1. When again the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream, dream. Right? Then our enemies, our adversaries, they said, come and see what the Lord has done for them. It was those the mockers that were now advertising the miracles. That will be your portion. That will be your portion. That will be your portion. That will be the portion of your husband. That will be the portion of your wife. That will be the portion of your children. In the name of Jesus. 
When Joseph saw them, he said, we met again. That is the topic for today. We met again. But the level has changed. You know what? These same people that sold him, these same people that dropped him in the well with no water, these same people that did everything and said, we will deal with you to see what will become of your destiny. We will cover you, you will not shine. We will kill you. We will drink your blood. The boasting of the strong man, not all enemies that God needs to kill. As a matter of fact, he is the one that will prepare the table before you in the presence of your enemies. Say, I will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. So not all enemies that God is going to, is going to kill. There are some who keep them alive. They might be wicked enemies. Oh yes, you want to prove to them that all power belongs to God in heavens and on the earth. They did not recognize him again. Why? Level has changed. The packaging, the address has changed. That was not where they threw, they threw him. No. That was not where they left him. God has moved him from that place to where it ought to be. From the floor to the top. From the valley, just as we said yesterday, from the valley to the mountain. Let me tell you, beloved. This is for somebody I don't know you, I don't know where you are, but God is speaking to you. Grab seats, don't take it for granted. Where you are now is a training ground, a stepping stone to where God is taking you to. The stones they are throwing at you, the wicked, the frustration, the confusion that they are bringing you to you now. Is going to be a stepping stone to your celebration. It won't be long. God will give you fame. Mm-hmm. Say, for that shame, I'm going to give you double. Double what? Double promotion. Double what? Double celebration. Double what? Good news. That's what the Bible said. So, for what the enemies have taken, God has promised he's going to give you double. Joseph looked at them. He had compassion on them who on the inside said, look. The dream became clear to him again right there. That, Father, thank you that if not you that was on my, on my side, God alone has the Father say, where you are now is not your last bus stop. God is going to take you to that place he wants you to be. Don't give up. Don't look at the storm. Don't look at the wind. Take your eyes off them. Fix it on the master. He that called the children of Jacob, he did not call them in vain. He didn't call them to come and just look at his face. He called them that he might decorate them, that he might make out of them what he has destined them to be. That God that never rested until the children of Israel got to the land that fled with milk and honey. On your case, on the case of your mother's children, heaven will not rest until you become what he wants you to be. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Who? They saw him, they could not recognize him because things have changed. Do you know that God can do the same for you? Do you know you are the next to be in that, in that level? Do you know God is going to change your levels? Do you know that such sort of breakthrough is coming your way? Do you know that oversized testimony is coming to you? Do you know that overdose favor is going to bombard you? Do you know that God is going to embarrass you with financial breakthrough? To the point you begin to say, what do I need to do with this? God, this is you. The friends of Peter, they've left him. Luke chapter 5. He was the only one that was there. When he met Jesus and Jesus said... Take the net and the, your net and launch into the into the deep. Ah, says I don't don't understand. A failure does not have friends. A broke man has nobody. I'm just here. I've told all night. We've caught nothing. They've all gone. They've left. And Jesus said, "That is why I'm here." There is somebody you have been struggling. You have suffered for a very long time. The Lord is terminating it this year. People will say all kinds of things when your doors begin to open. Because I see multiple doors opening for you. They will say all kinds of things that you have gone to do this, that you have done that to make wealth. 
But don't forget God when the time comes. Because the blessing of God make a rich and he added no sorrow. That you might finance the kingdom of God. That you might help the work of, of God. And Jesus said, Peter, even if you have been toiling, toiling has become your identity. You are not a replica of suffering. The more you labor, the more you suffer. Say, push that aside. Look at me. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher. Whatever he has started in your life, God will perfect it. 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 In the name of Jesus. When the brothers, when they later, so when Joseph later revealed that Nami be this, so see Joseph, Joseph, where are you now? Where are Look at me, said, Joe. You know the level would have changed. But just look at it. all of them; they were still in their father's house. But the person that you both said will not become anything over my dead body. All your over my dead body enemies. God will keep some of them. To see what he will make out of your life. They've called you Nazareth. Don't worry. You and your mother's children. <laughs> Keep quiet. Can anything? All of them, they are all the same. They are not equal to a grain of rice. They put all put together. Those you thought they are up now, they are making it now. When God will open your own way, when God will visit you, when God will step into your affair. You will become the talk of the town. The Bible says, all over the world, they were all coming. You will worship Joseph before they will give you food. You will have to bow. You obeisance. You have to go down. Reverence. He was the voice of the number one king in the world, the King Pharaoh. He was his voice. The prime minister, as you might call him, or minister of finance. And the... Uh, or an agriculture combined together. <laughs> he was the manager. Everything was in his hands. You see what God made of him. Who told you God has given up on you? God is preparing something better and bigger for you and your mother's children. When Peter threw into the deep and all of a sudden, there was a catch. When he saw what came because God stepped in, he he began to beckon and call others and he was singing that they should come that this is god alone that can do this what your effort cannot give to you that is those are the things that god is going to give to us in these 14 days because he will step into our affair when god steps in he wants to step in he's willing to step in we need to call him to step in we need to invite him to, to step in and that is why we've got request. We're going to present it to him. After the other king, Hezekiah, that presented his request before heaven. And the story changed. And we met again, said Joseph. He looked at them, he was excited. And said, Father, I thank you that if not you that was on my side, I would have been dead by now. If not you that defended me, the intention of the wicked would have prospered. I pray for you. Every intention of also wickedness to stop your mother's children, it shall be aborted. It shall be aborted. It shall be aborted. In the name of Jesus, thou God aborted the intentions of the sons of Jacob over the life of Joseph. Arise and abort every wicked intention against the hearers today. Wherever they might be all over the world. Every intention of the family strong man. Every intention of the idol of your father's house. Every intention of those placing curse upon your mother's children. Every intention of whoever has gone naked to, to, to decree upon your life. Every intention of that hand offering sacrifices and ritual against you. Every intention of whoever that is taking your name, your money from altar to altar. Every intention of anybody that lay hand on your pad or on anything that you have put on your body, all their intentions, the same God that aborted the intentions of the sons of Jacob over the destiny of Joseph. Today, 
arise about every wicked intention against your children in the name of jesus arise about them arise about them arise about them arise about them in the name of jesus When a woman gets married and the baby did not come on time, tongues will be wagging. A few minutes before we started this um, prayer this afternoon, somebody just called me and said, Pastor, thank God I've given birth is a boy. The intentions and the expectations of the wicked has been aborted again. This is the lost doing. It's marvelous in our sight. A few minutes before that time, uh, before she gave birth yesterday, she called me. I picked her call. So, my daughter, how are you? She said, fine. Say, Daddy, I'm still in labor. I say, Don't worry, you will give birth. Just like the Hebrew woman, as your mother gave birth to you, so will it be. You will see your baby, your baby will see you. Let not your heart be troubled. Fear not. And this morning, she just called before we started this broadcast. And Daddy is a baby boy. I said, As she called me, I said, Congratulations. I said, A boy, a girl says, A baby boy. This is the lost one. You will be a candidate, a recipient of good news. In the name of Jesus, we met again. They could be friends. They never believed in you. They put you off and said, because you are not educated. Say, no, we don't move with people who are not educated. We move with the people who are educated. And when they were nobodies, you were all there for them. And we are married now. We can't move with you because you are not married. Don't worry. God that did it for them will do it for you. But strength shall no more prevail. I'm not married is not a death sentence. It's not suicidal. Wait, God is preparing the best for you as long as you are in Him. You are planted in Him. He said, for the shame, for thy shame. For all the mockery, I'm going to give you double. You know what that means? Double. You will marry and you will have twin. You will get married and your husband will prosper. That is what God has this as proposed and what God has kept for you. And therefore, let not your heart be troubled. Just look at yourself. The Bible said the bread, the brothers, they saw him, they could not, no, none of them. In numbers, none of them could even say, ah, they can't even look at his face, look at the governor's face. Why? They bow down. He looked at them. In his heart, he said, we met again. Where they thought they left you, they will not find you there. You are going to meet again. Even the strong man, the children of Pharaoh, they, 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 they saw David and said, Wow, the stone that was rejected. You know, nobody's becoming somebody. We met again. Those that say you will not ever have a child, they will see it when you're dedicating your child. They will hear it. Those who have given up on you, they will see your light shine. I said, where is that light shining from? Where, where, who, who, who is the owner of that mansion? Look at that edifice. It's a new one in this environment. Say, who built it? Say, haven't you heard? Say, this, this is just the smallest. Say, really? Am I dreaming? Oh, yes, you are not. When the Lord again turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream, dream. Unbelievable testimony, evidence shall be your portion within these 14 days. Every closed doors, they are opening now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said, in the mighty name of Jesus. Is your, your request ready? Get your request ready. We want to pray now. I want to pray for all of you, wherever you are. Get your request ready. I want to pray on your request. And pray the sealing prayer to seal today. I know you were blessed today. God has spoken to somebody that is not done with you yet. Father, in the name of Jesus, lift up your request. Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever be it is that they are using to describe your children, take it away. Step into the affair. When God steps in, peace will come. May God step into your home. May God step into your destiny. Let peace come. Let good health come. Let prosperity come. Let favor come. In the name of Jesus. 
whatever obstacles and barriers that has been on your way for a very long time, may the hand of God bulldoze them away in the name of Jesus. This month is your month. 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 In the name of Jesus, June is your month. June is your month. June is your month. In the name of Jesus, you will hear good news. Concerning that papa, you will hear good news. The places you have applied before, you will hear good news. In the name of Jesus, concerning that contract, you will hear good news. Whatever has been covering you, I remove them. Father, as your children lift up the request, they wave it in their various locations, wherever they are. Turn these requests into results. Turn these requests into testimonies. Turn these re- 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 requests into overnight breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, whatever be in your request, receive answer. Receive answer. Father, step into the affair. Father, step into the affair. Father, step into the affair. In the name of Jesus, turn tears to testimonies. Turn delay into dancing. Turn humiliation into jubilation. In the name of Jesus, Father, feast their destiny. Whatever you have not planted in their lives, uproot it by fire. Uproot it by fire. Uproot it by fire. Whatever be your request, I decree upon your life, by this time tomorrow, good news will come. Good news will come. Good news will come. Receive it in the name of Jesus. It was, you know, yesterday somebody sent a testimony that she's been indebted. Only for her, day two of this program, somebody sent, they, they sent her messages and said the debt will own you, uh, see it as a gift. They forfeited the debt. May God do far beyond that for you. What is greater than that, that will be your portion. In the name of Jesus, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Your tomorrow shall be better than your today. The Lord will give you reason to smile. Say, you look excited. Say, yes, God has done it again. Say, what is it? Have you not heard? Have you not heard? It is done. That will be your portion. Concerning your job, God will facilitate everything that will lead to your promotion. You are sick. Be healed in your body, in your marrow now. Receive complete healing in the name of Jesus. Jesus took away your infirmities. You can't have it on your body. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus, it is well with you. I hand you over to God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tomorrow is this is. Tell somebody to tell somebody. Tell everybody to tell everybody that operation. Lift up your request. We are five days gone. Tomorrow is day six. Please don't forget to subscribe to uh, my YouTube channels. You have a whole lot of prayers there. There are prayer and powerful messages that will change your life for good. You know, you can share with your friends. There are messages that you can share with your children, your loved ones, that will transform your destiny. There are spirit-filled messages there. Don't joke with those messages. Get them. God bless you. I love you all with the love of God. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.